introducing the key croc this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen and on this dose of Technolus we are debuting the key croc, the ultimate key logging pen test implant. I can't stress enough that this is a key logger, but moreover it's a pen test implant. So let's take a step back. Let's take a step like way back, okay? Way back like 10 years ago, we introduced keystroke injection with the USB rubber ducky and born out of that was a whole slew of hot plug attacks, meaning you could go up to a target, plug a device in, and in a few seconds you could emulate a trusted USB device, in this case a keyboard, and then perform an attack and then run away with some loot. And then we followed it up with the Bash Bunny, being able to do the same thing, except in addition to emulating key keyboards, we were emulating network devices and serial and storage and so much more. Now we have taken this to the next level because for the last several years at our booth at DEF CON and beyond, people have been asking us for a key logger. And you look around over the last few decades, key loggers really haven't changed. If you're not familiar, it's a really simple device. You take a keyboard, you plug a device in line between it and the computer, and it records the keystrokes. The biggest thing to happen in key logging over the last several decades is the ability to get the loot over Wi-Fi. Not all that exciting, but all of that changes today as we introduce the key croc, because this, it's not just a key logger that records and streams online. It's a game changer for pen testing, because this is a pen test implant with Building on the, the possibility of the Bash Bunny, the attack modes and the payloads that we debuted with this are now possible with this and so much more. Because when you become a hardware implant that can systematically watch keystrokes as they flow between you and the host computer, there is so much potential. So. Join me for the next few minutes as I geek out and share with you what has been in development for a couple of years and we are so excited to debut. This is the Key Croc. Let's take a look. The Key Croc by Hack5 is the world's most advanced key logging pen test implant. Out of the box, it records and streams keystrokes right to your web browser. But don't be fooled, this is far from an ordinary key logger. Under the hood, it leverages the power of the Bash Bunny to execute multi-vector attacks. That means it can simultaneously emulate trusted USB devices, like keyboards, serial, storage, and ethernet from payloads that get triggered when your target types a predefined string. Imagine this, a payload that gets triggered when your target hits control alt delete records credentials, and then uses them to systematically and silently exfiltrate documents to your server. With built-in Wi-Fi, it's easy to manage over Cloud C2 or SSH. And its pattern matching payload system triggers on simple strings or elaborate regular expressions, even if the target makes a typo and hits backspace. Plus, with DuckyScript 2.0, you can inject keystrokes live from the web. Coupled with a screen crap, you've got a physical screen recording, keystroke injecting remote access solution. You can even drop into its full featured root shell with Linux at the base, all of your favorite pen test tools, from Impact and Responder to Metasploit, are at the ready. Yeah, a keylogger with network access to the target that is armed to the teeth. And deployment is dead simple. Just plug it in and it automatically clones the keyboard's hardware ID. In seconds, you'll have lag-free keylogging and streaming to Cloud C2, where you can watch, manage payloads, and inject keystrokes in real time. Or switch it to arming mode with a push of a hidden button turning the key croc into a regular flash drive. Then configuring options like Wi-Fi is just a matter of editing a text file, or drag and drop to download logs and activate payloads from the growing library. From the pioneers of keystroke injection comes a revolution in key logging. Take your pen test to the next level and get loot with a key croc. So as I said in the debut video, it is a game changer because you have these pattern matching payloads and I want to expand on that. Essentially what that means is, you know, unlike a traditional keylogger where you end up with just a mounds and mounds of text to scrub through and find the interesting data, you can now systematically find that data using the match command and say, hey, whenever the user types administrator, root, uh, guest, login, whatever you want, it can then do something. 
And that something can be as simple as using the save keys command to save the next 50 keystrokes, the next 100 keystrokes to a file that you can then exfiltrate to Cloud C2 or your server with SSH or whatever you want immediately, right? Or you can save the previously typed keys. So you can see that there is so much potential when you have that ability to find not just the, the interesting gems on this pen test, but it goes so many steps further because using regular expressions, you can use one of these or one of those to find all of the needles in the haystack. I'm looking for zip codes. I'm looking for email addresses. I'm looking for URLs ending in this, these top level domains. I'm looking for any number of PII that is specific to my engagement so that when I do my report at the end of my pen test, I can be like, dude, I got all of this, right? And, and couple that with the fact that you plug this into a Lenovo keyboard, it's going to look like a Lenovo keyboard. You plug it into a, you know, anchor keyboard, it's going to look like an anchor keyboard, right? You plug it into Logitech, it's a Logitech, it clones automatically the hardware identifiers. So that's amazing. But then building on that and the fact that it's using the Hack5 payload system that is basically, you know, building on Bash, like on the shoulders of giants, using conditional statements, the ability to use all of the text processing and all of the tools that we know and love in Linux, but then simplifying it with a few helper commands like attack mode and quack and match and save keys and C2X fill and all the rest, we're able to create payloads that can say, for instance, match on a keyboard shortcut to lock a computer, right? Or in fact, we can inject our own keystrokes to lock that computer and invoke a login and then store those credentials in a variable that we can then use. We can text process those, get rid of the tabs, get rid of the uh, enter, anything before enter we know is going to be the credentials. And then we can use those systematically in a payload. And because we can emulate those multiple devices, because the, the key crock can now become not just a hid device passing through those keystrokes or injecting our own keystrokes, but we can actually become a network device. Now we have physical network access to the target bypassing the firewall, bypassing the intrusion detection systems. It's a one-to-one -one network just between the key crock and your target. And now you have the credentials in a variable that you can use against that target, right? So on top of that, on top of that, the, the, the payload matching, uh, you know, payloads that can get triggered when you hit control alt delete or Windows key L or control alt L or on a Mac command control Q uh, and then store credentials or whatever you want and then use those later in a payload and then using, you know, multi-vector attacks and being able to show up as all of those different uh, devices, you know, and using the full feature of the, this Linux machine that's on here with a 1.2 gigahertz quad core CPU, an eight gigabyte uh, desktop class SSD, so the thing boots in like eight seconds, and uh, you know, like half a gig of RAM, this thing is such a formidable pen test implant. Uh, and on top of that, you've got Cloud C2. So you can interact with it just like you do with all of the other Hack5 devices and manage the payloads remotely and drop into a shell remotely and inject keystrokes remotely and watch keystrokes being typed remotely, you know, all on a free server that you can set up. It's crazy to think. Uh, and it's, it is so simple. You know, this is what we do. We try to take something that's very powerful and make it very accessible and yet not hinder you in your ability to roll up your sleeves and, and, and go nuts with it. So out of the box, key logging, hardware ID cloning, nothing to do. Like literally, if you never want to configure this thing, never configure it. Take it out of the box, plug it in. Good to go. It's recording keystrokes, right? You want to get those keystrokes now off the device? There's a hidden button. You grab a SIM card tool or a paper clip. You, you pu push the button on the back of it. It shows up on your computer as a flash drive. The loot's in the loot folder. You want to activate a payload? You drag it to the payload folder. You want to configure Wi-Fi? You edit config.txt. You add in, you know, your Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi pass. You know, you, you want SSH? Do SSH enable. It's as simple as that. Think about the ability to plant this on a pen test, configured so that it will connect back to a hotspot on your phone. You come back a week later, spin up that hotspot, it connects back to you. Over SSH on your phone, you now exfiltrate the loot. Or have it connect to the internet and have the alive ability to watch those keystrokes and inject your own. And, and not just inject your own with the ducky script that we debuted a decade ago with the USB rubber ducky with this hot plug attack, uh, 
But since it's implanted, you know, you have basically a hardware APT and DuckyScript 2.0, which adds a bunch of new features. So not only can you now, you know, keystroke inject whatever string you want, we have a language file with over 2,000 keys and commands per language so that you can capture and inject crazy key combinations. You can do any scan code, any key code, any alt code. You can even hold down a key for however long you want to hold it down. I know because I wrote a payload that plays Doom holding down arrow keys and pressing fire to shoot caco demons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, key logger that plays Doom. And, you know, on top of that, you can even lock out the keyboard that's currently connected to the computer. So you can have a payload that captures credentials when the sysadmin types sudo and some command and then, you know, capture that password. And then on the next line, you know, lock them out and then type into the terminal rmtechrf slash, you know, sleep command, make their hearts start pounding as they're hitting backspace and control C and nothing's happening. And then you're like quacking into the command prompt slowly, like pound, you feel unlucky, punk, right? I mean, okay, I'm not suggesting doing that obviously like this is just like control c right after that like prank your prank your coworkers with this one but you see what's possible when you have a payload that interacts with the system and has the ability to know what was typed there's we're just scratching the surface of creativity i mean you couple this thing with our key crock and now you have a an entire hardware physical access solution to get video signal from the computer and inject keystrokes into the computer all through Cloud C2. I know because we plugged it into our server here, right? If you want to get into the BIOS and configure a RAID, why not? VGA to HDMI adapter, Bob's your uncle. Like, it's in a crazy combination when you have that. And so you can imagine what kind of crazy loot that you can score on your next pen test. You know, you take that combination and it is just, it is just lethal. So we are going to be, you know, introducing a, a new series on Hack5. We're starting a live stream on Thursday nights. And we're going to be introducing a bunch of awesome pen testers in this community that have had early access to these beta units and providing awesome feedback. Because there's so much creative payload potential in here. You know, there's a payload literally in the library right now that roll of the dice. When you type nano, it replaces it with vim. You type vim, it replaces it with nano. Throw an Emacs just to have fun. I mean, you know, uh, so it's not just a keylogger that records keystrokes or can play Doom or can have Metasploit and network access to the target. It is a system for creativity. And we have been encouraging so many creative pen testers to, to start playing with this already. And we encourage you to do the same because we've made it as simple as possible. And yet, if you want to roll up your sleeves, you want to drop into a shell, you run install extras, it installs Metasploit and Nmap and Responder and, and Impacket. There are so many cool creative potential possibilities for payloads with this thing. So I can't wait because on Thursday night, this Thursday night and, and thereafter for a while, we're going to be having a little live payload party and the developers who I wish could be here right now to be sharing in this excitement of this moment, you know, because they've been working so hard over the last year making this happen. You know, they're going to be there. You're going to be able to ask them questions. We're all going to be able to write payloads together. We've got a GitHub repository where you can submit payloads. And uh, I just can't wait to see what's possible. So I huge thanks to the developers who have worked tirelessly to make this thing happen. And huge thanks to the beta testers within the, you know, greater InfoSec community that have championed this on and, and put their time into checking this out and providing awesome feedback and writing cool creative payloads and maybe joining us on these live streams. And thank you to you guys for enabling us to be able to do this because we wouldn't be able to do it without you. Uh, you know, it's been almost 15 years now. And I mean, it's been a decade since we introduced something as simple as keystroke injection and we are taking it to the next level and it's based on your feedback. You know, these things keep getting easier and more powerful. And there's a beautiful intersection there and it's because of your feedback. So I, I couldn't be, you know, more happy to be, you know, in great company of you guys. I hope wherever you are, you're safe, you're well, you're as excited as I am for the potential for this. And I hope you'll join us on these live streams. So please comment below. Let me know your impressions of the key croc. Let me know any questions you may have on there. I'll be answering those down below. I will be doing a whole extensive series on building out payloads for this and really getting the most out of this device. 
And, um, you know, let me know your favorite, uh, let me know your ideas for a, a creative, mischievous payload. Uh, because I'll, I'll probably be coding it up on uh, Thursday night. And I hope you'll join us. All right. So that, in a nutshell, is the key croc, a game changer in key logging, a key logging pen test implant. With that, and for all of us here at Hack5, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your Technolust. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and pen test products at hack5.org.